back to backyard bug just Brody. Buddy, well, this is a special edition, isn't it? Yeah. Why? What what has it been doing lately? Eight past days of rain. Nothing but rain, right? Yes. And what does that mean for our backyard? That means a lot of critters and bugs are here. Yeah, because our backyard is like a swamp, isn't it? Yeah. We've got lots of standing water. All right, yeah. so so we've already it's caught. Still like the flood. Yeah, we've already caught a few things, but why don't you show me? Let's go. Let's go around, and you show me how you find bugs. We've already found a few things, right? Yeah. All right, so let's. Oh, that's that's Brody's corner back there, isn't it? That's where you like to. Yeah. That's where you like to go yeah, find stuff. A, oh man, there's moss. Where? You see that little brown thing? Oh yeah, it's right over there. Yep. Little moth, and the grass is really tall because Daddy hasn't had a chance to yeah to, like, to cut it, have it's I? It's like one feet tall. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. Some of them are two feet tall. Yeah, but it's tall. Yep. Eight straight days of rain, um, with probably some other days mixed in. I haven't looked to see, but. Yeah, some of them have been ha having right. thunderstorms. Yeah, lots of thunderstorms and just heavy rain. Yeah. All right, so you show me how we're gonna. Well, we're, look at that. Where are we starting off? We're starting off with this rock here. Okay. Yeah. Always turn it uh, with the rock towards you. To use it as a shield in case there's something under there that wants to bite you. Like a snake or a turtle. Yeah. The turtle will bite you. Turtles will bite you. Yeah, they can. Yeah, this is too small for a snake. Yeah. Watch yourself there. That's a big one. You want me to flip it? All right. Can you move back? You know? I'll, I'll flip it here. Nope, nothing under there. I see. All right, which one, next one you want to flip? So this is all you do. Like whenever you come outside, this is you just go <laughs> down the line of the garden, flipping. Oh man, over. there's a worm. There's a worm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two. There's an earthworm there. Why are they coming up? Do you know? Why we're seeing it's more? Really muddy. It's really yeah. The uh, there's a lot of water in the soil, right? And they can't breathe. You gotta come up for air. Can't under, um, under okay, you want me to lift this big one up? Yeah. Okay, watch out. Is that so smooth? Oh man! Oh, man. That's a, that's oh there's a big roly poly that in there. That's there. big! That's, that's the biggest one! Actually, I, found, I found one that big before. Alright, so we're gonna leave them in there? Yeah. Let them be? Let them grow big and bigger? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna lift this one up. This one's in the weeds, so Daddy's gotta but be I careful. But I have flipped that one. Watch out. I flipped that one. So we've, we've, oh! Yeah, I saw I that. Have, did you see that? Was that a moth? It was a moth. It was a moth. I don't see it. You do see it? Where? Oh, yep, there it is. It's a big moth. Big Okay. Hey. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> Hey, be careful. This is, the chipmunks are over here too. Yeah. I have to be careful. We have a pear tree. And our, well, our neighbor does. And so the chipmunks. What's a pear tree? Well, it's a tree um, that grows pears. Is, hence the this, pear tree. This? Yeah, look at all the water. This is where I. Uh, this is where I heard the hissing sound. Oh, this is where you heard a hissing sound yeah. earlier? Yeah. Like a snake hissing sound? Yeah, or? like. Okay. Yeah, then we're not gonna mess with sticking our hands in there, are we? Remember that. Um, this is where the lizards usually are, aren't they? Yeah, but. Right up against the side of the house, but I don't see them. It's pretty wet. Yeah, so, and they like to stay dry. Yeah, well, they're probably hiding in the. They're cold blooded. They are. Very good, bud. All right, let's go check. Whoa! What? I heard something moving around in there. Oh, well, I don't know, but I didn't see anything. Did you see something? It, no, I just remember. Exactly. Okay, I don't know, but well, fast. there's a there's a black you can hardly see it, but there's a black tube down buried down in there. Um, it runs the length of the house, and that's where the lizards like to they like to hide in there, don't they? In there and under the rocks. They also like remember, coal skinks do not live in this state, and yeah. a coal skink lives in uh, um next to our house. There's some water likes to. Or maybe it There's doesn't live. Water next, form. Maybe it yeah. doesn't live next to our house. Maybe it was just fighting under that rock. It's possible. Okay. All right. We're spot number two. Yeah. All right. So what's where do we what do we typically find well, here? 
Yeah. What do we, hey Brody, what do you typically find on this side of the yard? Uh, bunnies. We find the bunnies hiding inside yeah. this. We find the turtles, right? A lot of times they, they walk along uh, this only fence. Only one time we found a skink over there. Yeah, we did find a skink over on that side once. But over there. Yeah. It was and we've seen pink. skinks over here, right? No, Blue line. But I've seen some coal skinks over here too. And then what else have we found? What bug do we find all the time hiding in this green stuff? Praying mantis. Praying mantis. Yeah, that's this is where we find our praying mantis. Although it's a little early to find those, isn't it? Yeah. They're not. They're not big enough. Yeah. Um, and the chipmunks are always back here too, aren't they? Yeah. They like to hide in this thick. So every. Oh man. But it's yeah, there's I'm some spiders in here. That daddy was hosing off the deck earlier today and saw a huge spider, but I didn't have my phone on me because I was messing with water and I couldn't didn't want you coming out getting all wet, so I didn't tell you about it. Whoop, there's the baby bunny. I think it just went underneath the uh I have no idea if I caught that on the video or not. I'll have to check and see. Maybe I'll do a slow-mo if, if it picked it up. But it was right along the wall. These likes they like to hide in the thorn bush. Right, because it gives them some protection. All right, but watch it. There's a spider web right by your head. Right there. There's a little spider on it. Is that a mantis? I have no idea, but it's so small. It's probably a little garden spider, like a little uh, orb oh, it weaver. Has, it has a green bum. It's it's yellow, but I think it's, it's it I think a, it's a tiny orb weaver, um, the, what, like is a it yellow orb weaver venomous. I don't know. The, well, remember the yellow garden spiders. Okay, Let me see if I can find where he's at. There he is, right there. No, no, that's not it. It's really tiny. Where is he? Oh, he's over here now. I'm working my way up. Right there. He's just a little guy. But those yellow garden spiders that we have, those are very aggressive. So we tell you not to touch them. Yes. Okay, you're moving up. It's you're you're done talking about spiders. It's not venomous to us, but it's venomous to us. Well, it'll, it can hurt you. We're yeah. finding. Whoa, there's a lizard. I just saw him. Again, I don't know if I caught him on the camera. He's underneath here somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's, he's underneath this step. But I don't know. Let me see. Maybe I can get the camera to pick him up. Do you see him? Oh, I saw something move. He's in the corner, I think, but I can't see. I'm going to have to watch the video later and see if we picked him up on the camera. All right, don't stick your hand into there. You can't see what's going on in there. But it looked like a five-line skink. What do you think, bud? Oh, there. Oh, Stop. I see it. Oh, where did it go? It went in here. Yeah, no. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I see his tail. Oh, I, see. <laughs> I had his tail on the camera. I did not. It See, looks did like. Did catch the whole body? Shh, 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 I have it. He's right here. Hold on. I didn't catch the whole body. Okay, there he is. He's uh, he's right under there. You see him moving? It's okay. It looks like. Oh, oh shh. Hold on. Go get your jug. This is what typically Brody does by himself. He will find these things and then he will bring them into the house after he catches them. Or if it's in this case, this big skink that we're finding. Um, he will call me outside to help him catch it. Okay. I'm looking. He might have crawled back. It's hard to catch them when they're in this... Area. Yeah, in these big plants. Because I lose them in between with the leaves and stuff. Alright. Oh my jug. That looked like a coal skink. No, it was tan. Yeah, that's the coal skinks are the ones that are tan. Well, we've had a black coal skink. Yeah, and I'm wondering if maybe the coal skinks and the five lane skinks oh. that. We... Did you see it? No, it's also made really fast in here. Okay. The... I'm wondering if the coal skinks and the five lane skinks ever breed together because some of the coal skinks, they have tan. They're tan on the top, but then they... it looks like they have the five lines that like the five line skinks have across their back. So sometimes I wonder if maybe they're breeding together and it's a mixed breed, but I don't know enough about them to be able to tell you one way or another. That might be a question 
that we ask maybe Aunt Jamie or oh Uncle Kevin. God. What? I heard a sound over there. Oh, maybe he came over this way? Yeah. Well, they like to... Really fast. Where do they like to hide? Where do we find them hiding all the time? Where do they crawl? When you try to catch them, don't they... They crawl up into the house, right? They come underneath and they crawl up. Let me and see if I can... They, they crawl up underneath and here and they the get window. inside the wall. Or don't they? Get inside the window. Yeah, well, not the window. Inside the walls. All right. What, let's let's talk about what we did find. We didn't catch that guy. We're gonna let him go. But what did we catch today? Oh yeah, I forgot. That's what we're gonna talk about. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Yeah, you like catching these guys. They're all over, aren't they? Yeah, that's huge. Look at that. Look how big that guy is. How big is he? About. You want to let him go? Yeah. Okay, come over here. Let's let him go in the. No, let's let him go over here. And we'll tell people why we're gonna let him go over here. But right now, we're gonna let him go over here. Okay, you you let him go. Okay, and this guy's gonna dump him out of the cave. Yeah, you just dump him out. He'll find his way, he'll dig himself down in there. But look how big that guy is, huh? He's a big guy, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we could, we could give him to Grandpa with the van, and he would probably use him to catch some fish, wouldn't he? Yep. Yeah, he's a fisherman. He likes those worms for those fish, doesn't he? Yeah. We're gonna go fishing with Grandpa here in a couple weeks, aren't we? Yes. You keep talking about that. You're excited. I hope that I catch a fish. Yeah, I think here's a good chance. We we catch lots of fish, don't we? Yep. All right. What do you want to show them now? What did What did we find this after this this morning when Daddy was out here trying to clean up the? Uh, I can't reach him. You can't reach him. Do you want me to? Yeah, he's all the way. In okay. This Why don't you tell people what it is though? It is a tiny. Little box turtle. It's a baby box turtle. Yes, it's so tiny. All right, let's show you guys how tiny this guy is. All right, you might look. He, he does look like a little pebble. Um, as Jenny put it when she told, oops, let's see if we can get the focus. Um, it's about the size of her thumb. So let me yes. let me pull this guy out. He is probably content because we fed him a bunch of worms. There was three worms in here, big earthworms, and he ate all of them, didn't he? Whoa, there's a slug. Yeah, there's a slug. I put a slug in there. So just to give you an idea. Can I feed him? Size-wise, that's that's my thumb right there. So he is Can about, I see if he's as big? Yeah, he's bigger than your thumb. Hey, don't, don't get too close. I don't want him biting you. So this is just a baby box turtle. For those of you who remember, we we had Box Beak. This yes. guy is it's... actually smaller than when we found Box Beak, isn't it? Yeah, he's like just a hatchling. Yeah, and we checked. But when he caught, when we got Box Beak, he was like one year old. Well, we know he's not a hatchling. How do you know he's not a hatchling? Because usually baby box turtles have egg yolks on the bottom, and he doesn't have. He doesn't have the egg yolk oh, on the bottom, at the, although look at the it, bottom. it's pretty close, right? Look at him go. Look at, there he goes. Little tiny legs. Hey, look at the, did you see that little face? Yeah. Can you put him back in so I can go yeah. find a worm and Yeah, we're, the we're gonna, him? yeah, that, we'll do that in a second. We're gonna put him back in and we're, we're gonna, we're gonna let this guy go, aren't we? We yeah. talked to Uncle Kevin and Aunt Jamie and they suggested we let him go, right? Yeah, but first I'm going to feed him. Okay, well, we'll do that. All right, we're back, bud. What do you got? What did you catch? Let me see what's in your hand. Ooh, it's a worm. All right, what are you going to do with this worm? Put it in. You're going to put it in here and see if maybe he'll bite, he'll eat it? Yeah, that's a pretty medium-sized worm. Yeah, well, I think he's pretty small, but yeah. He might eat that whole thing. Well, I already threw three of them in there, and he ate all three of them. So I don't know if he's going to eat that guy. But he likes those worms, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he does not eat plants. When I not. caught him, what did he do? He, he peed all over my hands, not the worms, the turtle, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to move worms this. Worms do not pee. Yeah. I, I have no idea how worms, what worms do. Okay, they poop. All right, we're going to put him under here so he's in the shade. Okay, buddy, who are we going to show him right now? We're going to uh, give an update on somebody, speak. right? Yeah. Box speak. And we, we feed him. What do we feed him? Okay. Crickets. So do you want do you want to pull him out or do you want me to pull him out? Um, can we like take this? No, no, I'm gonna pick him. Do you want me to pick him up and then? What out? about you 
place him on top of the rock, and then they can take okay. take a closer look at him. Okay, I'll put him up on the rock. Actually, why don't we do this? Um, yeah, let's just we'll just leave him right there. That's fine. So that's Boxbeak. He's gotten really big, hasn't he? Yeah, he's much more bigger than the little guy. You know what? Do you want to take? Let's go take him outside. Yeah, and we can give him a little exercise. Oh, nice. I'm gonna keep my eye on him because he's yeah. much more small. Look at him. Yeah. Look! Look how much smaller he is compared to Box. Yeah, can you? Or Box? Yeah, Box Beak. Oh, hold on. Hey, don't step on him, okay? He's over here. Look how well he blends in with the grass. Yeah. There is a possibility that these guys might be like brothers and sisters, right? Yeah, I can touch him in the butt. Hey, don't, butt, don't butt, touch butt. him. Just let him be. He's digging himself into the grass. He's trying to hide from you. Yeah, I'll take him out. Well, it's just fine. Just let him be. But he's got to dig into the ground. Well, we can dig him out. Just let him go. Okay. He knows so, us, but he gets scared. We've had Box Beak for how long? A lot. Well, we've had him for about six months. Yes. Maybe a little less than that. Right, we got or him. maybe Jenny, more than that. Mommy found him in the in the garden right before winter, right in the fall. She found yeah. him, and we found him, and we found box clover, yes. and and we let box clover go, but we kept box beak. We wait, you were wrong. We put the box clover into the cage, and then on the next day we let her go. We let her go. We kept only one of them, right? So we're hoping that box clover made it, but it was a pretty hard winter, wasn't it? We had a lot of temperatures below freezing. But he, but she hibernated. Well, we hope, yeah. But baby turtles don't don't really make it, do they? A lot of them die. They're eaten, or they don't survive the winter, right? It just it happens. So we kept this we guy. We can put him in there because that's a really. Yeah, this, big it's thing. fine. He's fine. Oh, there's a feather. Yeah, stop. Oh, that's not a feather. It's fine. Let them let them get some exercise and crawl around. They like it. All right. And what do we feed Box Beak? He's just staring at. Me. Yeah. What do we feed Box Beak? Worms and crickets. No, we don't feed them. Well, we feed them super worms. Yeah. No. Mealworms. Mealworms. Sorry, mealworms. We used to feed them super worms, but we stopped because they're a little bit big for them. The worm was doing this. Daddy, the worm was doing yeah. this. The worm was doing this. Curling around, making us squirrel. What do we think? Do we think Box Beak is a boy or a girl? Do you know? Do you I remember? I feel like he's a boy. Oh, well, I think he's. I think he's a girl. Why do we say that? Well, it's hard to tell when they're babies, but usually boy turtles. Oh my God! He looks crazy in the yeah, head. Mostly, most of the time, boy turtles have a little dent in their belly, right? Um, and boy turtles typically have on the tail it sticks out like it's thicker on one side or the other but it's hard to tell with the baby turtles because this guy doesn't really look like he has a bump and his tail looks pretty even on both sides so that's why we're guessing it's a girl but we could be wrong I, i'm guessing that's a boy okay okay you're gonna guess that that one's a boy and i'm gonna do you want me that to do you want me to check and lift him up and see but that one's no. more tiny he's really tiny but i don't see a bump on the bottom and it's hard to tell with this tail. So we'll go ahead and say well, that one's a boy. Wait, you can see with the eyes. Well, yeah, that's another way to tell would be most of the time, I think that I think it said that most of the time the boys have orange eyes, right? No, the boys have red eyes. Or red eyes, but his, I don't know why again, it's... it's hard to tell with these turtles because their eye color is black. I don't really see the coloration that they talk about. So, I mean, Maybe the eye color only comes up when they're They bigger. could be, yeah. The other way to tell is the scales on their hands or typically maybe, have different colors, but again, or I... Or maybe it, they only get the color from their, it's from possible. their eyes when they're all in grown. All right, we're back. Brody, what do we want to talk about now? What are you going to show people? Um, Real briefly. Oh, my God, that's really fly. Yeah, oh, that's... No, that's not a frog. That's one of those fly... It's a fly. Yeah, that's one that's of the... a fly. Oh, that's just a regular house fly. I thought it was oh, one of the flies that we... Now... He got out of his yeah, he's Yeah, he's... So, buddy, what do we... We let him... We let the worm go here, but what well, is going in here? What are we going to build here? A uh, box beak's outside cage. We're going to build a, a habitat out here for box beak, right? Yep. Man, what? there's water in there. Yeah, that's the bird bath. Um, and how big is it going to be? It's going to cover this whole area, right? It's about 
four and a, it's about four like feet it's by five and a half feet. I feel like it's got to be cozy. Yeah, where do we, we're going to have a covered area, right? Yep. Where are we going to put the covered area? Is it going to be back on that corner or you want it up here? Uh, I really want it to go from here to here. Well, that's not where, it's going right so in this, gonna... it's going to go right in this area that doesn't have any bushes. So we don't have to yeah. dig anything up. And then, um, I was meaning to ask you. Can we plant some bushes in here? Yeah, where are we going to plant in the, tr in the cage area for Boxby? Where are we planting? That he's going to eat. Strawberries. We're going to plant some wild strawberries yes and we're gonna plant some like kale yeah so he'll have some leafy greens to eat when he's not eating the bugs and stuff that crawl in there for him but he will eat bugs if they crawl in yeah we're, what do we have to do with the cage what do we have to um um if have it's to put time something to... over it yeah like a lid made out of wood why why do we have to cover it up because the eagles that are flying above our house will eat him. What else will eat him that's in our backyard all the time? Raccoons. The raccoons. And who else is in our backyard all the time that would love to eat a turtle? Snakes. Well, snakes. But who's in? Who's inside our house right now that comes out all the time? She's got four Luna. legs. Luna. That's right. We've got to put a nice cage lid on it so that he doesn't... But what if Luna climbs on top and pushes the lid off? Well, that's why we're going to get uh, wire ne mesh netting to put on there, some thick wire mesh netting, okay? Can I, like, pull the um, pull the lid off? When, yeah, we'll we'll be doing that because we're going to have, you're still going to have to take care of Boxbeak, right? We're going to have to make sure that we're feeding him and we're giving him water, right? Yeah. We'll we, have a, we'll have we a might need We might need to put those um, dishes for his food and water inside, uh, for his water inside well, here, for he can like drink the water. We're gonna get different dishes for out here that are bigger, so that they can. Oh, can use you mean them. like the pet the at the bigger dishes at the no, pet store? No, we're gonna get like uh, you know the saucers that go underneath um, potted plants. We're gonna get a couple of uh, we'll get a couple of those to put in, so they'll collect water for him, and we're gonna get a. Um, uh, we're gonna use that big tube right there, yeah. right? We're gonna use that to create some tunnel so he can hide. He can dig underneath the ground or, or uh, go underneath no, the tunnel and hide. Yeah. But what if he went underground and just um, dug his way and got out well, of the Well, that's why we're gonna we're gonna dig. The walls are gonna go down into the ground, right? Oh. How deep are under the ground into the ground do the walls need to go? Do you remember? No. It's got to be essentially two feet down under the ground, oh. and then the walls have to be about two feet high. So it's four feet of, of wood or brick, depending on what we use. Oh. All right, so we came to let bo little Boxy go, and we have to cross this creek, which the kids can't do, but as I was trying to cross it, I came across this guy right here. Watch it. It's a little water snake. I don't know what kind it is. He's uh, coming your way. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can look him up. If he's not poisonous, I'll try to catch him. I'll be right back. All right, we're, we're here. We're letting go. little Boxy go, right? He's yeah. so cute. How far, we are, how far away are we from the house? I don't know. Like four or five away. Like four, no, we're like four or five houses down at the park. All right, and why did you Oh pick, man, I saw, I saw a squirrel. Yeah. Oh, now there's a bird. Yeah, but Brody, why are we letting him go here? What did you find on the ground? Um, yeah, wild strawberries. The turtles like to eat, right? Yep. So we, oh, he's starting to move. So we thought it would be a good spot. So go ahead and pick him up. Now listen to me, Brody. I want you to go, I don't want you to go in the weeds, but go out and put him down as close to those weeds as possible. Yeah, you okay? Now there's a chance that this turtle may find his way back, but there's a big, fairly decent creek, then all the rain, it's... Good, you say go. No, right? face him the other way. I don't want him coming back and, yeah, face him that way. So he'll... But I was, I was gonna... No, he, he's, Brody, he has eaten three worms. He's not going to eat a strawberry. All right, let him go. We'll watch him, and we'll see. Hopefully, he goes out into the woods here. Yeah. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, 
He'll get plenty of places to hide over there. And there's a chance he'll find his way back to our house. Because he might eat these flowers. They typically have about a mile range that they will live in. And so. our house, there's a gate there, and it goes through. Maybe you come back to our house. Like yeah, our there's house. plenty of places for him to go. it's facing our house. Okay, buddy, I'm going to pick him up, and I'm going to move him no. a little bit closer to the... I'll move him. I got it. I'm just going to put him right here. Okay. Yeah, you can go pet him one more time. One last time, you can pet him. All right. If somebody wants to pet him, you can. All right. Start from the head and go to the tail. I saw something. But I know that. I mean, you could pet a turtle that way, but I think that's for like lizards and stuff. But that's okay. Okay, stand up, Brody, and let him. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. Bye. Say, bye, little bye. All right. You want to say bye to all your viewers, Brody? We'll, we'll come back if we catch the snake, uh, the skink, okay? Ready? Bye! Okay. See you next Bye. time! Bye. See you next time!